We're on uh, topic 17. We're starting topic 17, page 90. And this uh, topic is called ratios and proportions. So we're going to look at ratios and proportions and explain them and do some uh, illustrations uh, uh, using them. So first of all, the definition of a ratio, the ratio of A to B is a comparison of two quantities. So that's the first thing. We're really comparing two quantities. And we can show it as A with a uh, colon to B, or we can show it as A divided by B. Of course, B can't be zero, otherwise the denominator is undefined. The other thing is that A and B should be written in the same units. Very, very important. Here we have expressed the ratio of 30 minutes uh, to 2 hours. So here this uh, ratio is not expressed in the same way because here we have minutes and we are, here we have hours. And it says that a ratio should be written in the same unit. So what we're doing is converting the two hours to 120 minutes. And so two hours is 2 times 60 minutes or 120 minutes. Then the ratio is 30 colon to 120 minutes. 30 is to 120 as 1 is to 4. In other words, if you wrote 30 over 120, you could reduce it to 1 over 4. So if we wanted to express the ratio of 2 miles to 1,000 yards in the simplest form, this is in miles and this is in yards. Well, we know that there are 1,760 yards in a mile, so 2 miles must be here we multiply 2 miles and then we multiply it by 7, 7, 1,760 yards per mile. We cancel out the miles and 2 times 1760 gives us 3380 yards. So um, 2 miles is 3,388 yards. We uh, divide that by 1,000 yards and that comes out to be 3.38. Definition of a proportion. Proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equal. You'll see here that the question is determine whether the following is a proportion or not. 4 over 5. Is it the same as 8 over 10? Well, I think you can see that if I multiply this by 2, I get 8. And if I multiply this by 2, I get 10. So the ratios should be the same. One way that I can do that is to take the common denominator here, 5 times 10, and that's 50, and multiply both sides by 50. If I multiply the left side by 50 and the right side by 50, I'm not changing anything. So 5 goes into 50 10 times. 10 times 4 is 40. Here 10 goes into 50 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. So since 40 equals 40, we've shown that this is a true proportion. Now the other way to do it, and this is very, very important, we're going to use this a lot in algebra in solving algebraic equations is using the cross product. Um, so we multiply the top of the left side of this uh, proportion by the denominator over here. 4 times 10 equals 8 times 5. This is called cross multiplying. We multiply the top times the bottom equals the top times the bottom. It doesn't matter which order you do it because 10 times 4 is the same as 4 times 10. So the order doesn't matter when you multiply these two together. But you must multiply the top of this by the bottom of that. Equals the bottom of this times the top of that. 4 times 10 
equals 5 times 8. So if uh, we were asked to determine whether the following is a proportion or not, you can cross multiply 4x times 2y, which is 8xy, equals 8y times x, 8y times x equals 8xy. So 8xy equals 8xy, so the answer is yes, this is a true proportion. Now you can see that very easily here, because if you multiply this by 2, um, excuse me, um, if you multiply this by 4, go this way, if you multiply this by 4, you get 4x. If you multiply this by 4, you get 8y. So you could see it, but uh, you easiest thing is to show it by cross uh, multiplication. Okay, so now uh, we're going to do page 91, and on page 91 we have one, two, three examples. And this um, similar triangles we're going to incorporate is really a prerequisite for understanding example three. So we're on a page 91 and we're going to look at example uh, three. Uh, one, two, and three. So let's go with one. We're asked to show that this is a proportion and what we do is multi cross multiply 50 times x equals 20 times 80. 20 times 80 is 1600. I divide this by 50, I get x. I divide this by 50 and I get 32. And now I go back and I check the left side or replace the x in the left side which is x over 20 by 32 over 20. 32, sorry, I place the x with 32, divided by 20, I get 1.6. 80 divided by 50 is equal to 1.6, so the left side equals the right side. Uh, I could have also solved this equation by multiplying 20 times 50 is the lowest common denominator, or 1,000. So I can multiply the left side by 1,000 and the right side by 1,000. So if I do that, I have 1,000 times x over 20 equals 1,000 times 80 over 50. Um, 20 goes into 1,000 50 times, so I get 50x. 50 goes into 1,000 20 times. 20 times 80 is 1,600. Divide this by 50. <coughs> Divide this by 50, and I get x equals 32, which was the same answer I got here. So there's just two different ways of doing the problem. Here um, we can use proportions to uh, determine unknown. Six liters of a liquid cost eight dollars. Then how much would 15 liters cost? So here six liters cost eight dollars. Fifteen liters would cost x dollars. So we have liters to liters, dollars to dollars. Liters to liters, 6 to 15, 8 to x. Now we can cross multiply. 6x equals 15 times 8, which is 120. Divide this by 6, I get x. Divide this by 6, and I get 20. And so 15 liters would have cost $20. Now, I could have also written it in terms of um, liters to dollars. Here I wrote liters to liters, but I could write 6 liters e equals $8. So 15 liters would equal X dollars. 6 liters equals $8. 15 liters would equal X dollars. Notice that I must have liters to dollars, liters to dollars. I can't have liters to dollars here and dollars to liters here. I can't reverse the ratio. So that's just another way of doing it. Cross multiply 6X equals 8 times 15, which is 120, and X equals 
uh, 20. Check the solution here. The left side is uh, 6 over 8. That gives me 0.75 or 3 quarters. The uh, right side is 15 over x, which is 15 over 20, which is also 3 over 4 or 0.75. So the left side equals the right side. Now, in this example 3, <clears throat> we are dealing with what we call uh, similar triangles. Triangles with the same angles are called similar triangles and their corresponding sides are proportional. So imagine this small triangle here and this larger triangle here. And what we're saying is this angle in here, right here, is the same as that angle here, whatever it is. And this angle here is the same as that angle. Finally, this angle is the same as that angle. So you could imagine this triangle fitting inside the small one, fitting inside the large one, and that this angle was the same as this one, this one was the same as this one, and this one was the same as that one. If that is the case, then we can take the ratio of their corresponding sides as proportional. So A is to D as C is to F as B is to E. A in the small triangle is to D in the large larger triangle as B is to E as C is to F. Now I didn't include with color coding B and E because it would have made the diagram a lot more complicated but I could have drawn a line from B to here in green let's say and from E to this in green to show it. So the, the same thing that applies here as applies to here. Now how do we apply that here? Well this here is to this as that is to that as that is to that. So we can say 4 is to 6, right? 4 is to 6 as 10 is to x. 4 in the small triangle is to 6 in the larger as 10 is to the x. I don't need the 8 to 12 here, but I could have used it and get the same answer. So now I can cross multiply 4x equals 60 and x equals 15. Now I could have used a different ratio so I could have said 10 is to x as 8 is to 12. Same thing 10 is to x as 8 is to 12 get 8, 8x equals 120 x equals 15 and you can see that uh, we get the same answer that we got before. Here we got x equal 15, here we got x equal 15. We want to check the solution. 10 is to x, 10 is to 15 is 2 thirds, that reduces to 2 thirds. 5 goes into 10 twice, 5 goes into 15 3 times, the 5's cancel and 2 thirds. 8 over 12 reduces to 2 over 3, 2 thirds equals 2 thirds, so we know we have the right answer. So this completes um, pages 90 and uh, 91.